Hey guys, today we're uh, I'm going to show you how to do the Epic Beard Game. So those of you that are fans of Uno, um, you'll be kind of familiar with this. There's a little bit more of a deception mechanic to it. Um, Alright, so here's what you do. You mix this up. I already pre-shuffled it, but let's just, let's just see here. Alright, so we're to one, two. Each player is going to get six cards. So for this, uh, for this simulation, I'm just going to use two players here. So I think it might be... Two, four, six. Two, four, six. Okay, so we're good. So when you make, when you get six, everybody's gonna get their cards. Take the first one, flip it over, just like in Uno. So what you're gonna do here, there's a couple things that you can do. Well, actually, there's three things that you can do. Okay. So you have, you look at your cards. So there we have the Buckminster Full. We have a green, a blue, and then we have the Mr. Goatee. We have that one, and the helmet chin strap. Another Mr. T Blues. Okay. So if you notice. There's fives there. So there's a five, kind of like Uno, everybody has a value. So pretty much it's just like Uno, only it's a little different because there's a little deception. We'll get, we'll get to that in a little bit. Okay, so being that I have these, I'll go first. So if you go first, if you don't have, I don't have anybody of interest yet. So what I will do is I will go here. So I can choose to put down a card if I don't have one, kind of like Uno, or I can draw one. Or the other thing that I could do, which I'll do on this next turn, I'll show you. So he's done. We go to this next guy here. You're gonna look at your card. So what do we have? We have a green Buckminster full. We have a blue one, another blue one. Well, I think these are purple. Actually, they're purple. They look at blue here. But I have the helmet chin strap, which is red, and then I have an epic beard. So, and the helmet chin strap. So actually, I'll show you how the epic beard works. So there's the epic beard guy. Um, my beard's not epic yet, and I don't have hair like that, but pretty cool. So if I throw him down, right? Say if I throw him down and there's more people playing, I'll throw him down. Now, whether I like it or not, and I'm this player, I have to pick one of these up. So I happen to get the Dick Van Dyke. All right, so say I'm, I'm pissed off that he made me pick up a card. So what I can do here is I could pick, hmm, do I want to screw him or do I... So this is where you can gamble a little bit. So I could, I could theoretically, I could go like this if I want to play on the honest way. The honest card, the honest, you know, the honest path, I guess, the high road. And I could say, all right, well, I have a pair. So let me see if I can deceive him or not. Depending on how good you are at dece deception, you could be like, well, you know what? I'm going to go to him, and this game also comes with chips. So what I could do is I could say, well, hey, listen, um, I could hand say I'm handing it to this guy over here. I could say, hey, I bet you one chip, or I have a pair. I have a pair of, what are these guys, Buckminster Fulls. So I have a pair of him. So if I was on this side, and I, you know, I didn't believe him, and I was like, you know what, you're full of shit. So if I said he was full of shit, I pull it over, all of a sudden he was right and he was telling the truth, then this guy has, this guy gets, well no, this side, this side would get the chip. So later on in the game, what the chips are going to do is the chips are going to subtract five points for each, 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 each chip earned. So the chips are kind of like a buffer. So say you have a shitload of cards left over, um, the chips are going to be a nice buffer for you and they're actually going to kind of subtract, so help you win the game. So you want to try and deceive people too, because it's good to have that. Um, so with that being done, these get discarded, that goes up top. Um, so then what happens, we go again. So let's see here. Let's see, you can even, you can either do this too. You can, you can, I'm just looking over, I'm trying to remember. You can even just pick them at random, too. If you really want to screw people and you want to roll the dice, you can pick, like, two of them and hand them over. But that's that's a cool element to this game. So, anyway. So then, this guy's turn. So this guy will go then. Okay. So, just for giggles, let me just draw a bunch. This isn't really the way to play it. But, all right. So we have the Beardless Harry. So that's the guy. Obviously, he doesn't have a beard. So say, um, for giggles, say this guy was down, right? So say he was down and I wanted to get rid of him because he's 10 points and it sucks to have 10 points. I will throw him down, but guess what? Because I threw him down, I have to pick up three. So look, I got another... Oh, look at that. Didn't mix it too well. So look at that. So I did get that one of these. I did get an epic. And that's it. So I could kind of screw them a little bit. And that's Riley saying hi. Okay. So I had gone. I picked up three cards. Now, where, where am I at here? So now I have blue. So I'm going to put him down. And they go there. Then he's going to go. 
So it's kind of going to go a little fast. So then there's that. I have to pick up three more cards. So you could see how the game goes there. Um, now when all is said and done, say you did enough bribing, stuff like that. Obviously this guy had lost the game because he has a stack. But at the end result here, um, you're going you're gonna to see. So say I'm just fast forwarding it so you guys kind of get the idea. Um, say it, So at the end of the game, okay, say I ended up deceiving him and I got a bunch of chips. All right, so we had all those. So you're gonna add up your, your chips. Um, so what do I have here? I have five, seven, what's here, nine. So nine and seven is 16. So 16, and what do I have here? One, two, three, four, five. 16, so I won that. So I'm totally good, I'm in, I'm in the green there. Um, and I'm dropping chips everywhere, okay? And then I have this one here. I'm not even really gonna count, it doesn't make sense because He's totally screwed. We only have two chips here because we didn't feel like deceiving, but that's pretty much it. That's the game. Um, now, I mean, I was looking on Target, for, or not Target, I'm sorry. I was looking on Amazon. You could pick up this game for 18 bucks. Uh, I will put a link in, in uh, the, the, the uh, description for you guys. Um, kind of doing these because it's kind of going to help me if, just to, just to work on the fly in YouTube videos, but I figured I would share this one with you guys to play through. I was actually looking at it um, we usually do a game night, um, every other Monday, or every Monday we try to. So, um, this is one I was just looking at. I, like I said, like many board games, um, wife's not really into it, so I figured I'd try and learn myself. Um, not learn myself, but just try and figure out a game that I got for Christmas that otherwise is going to sit around. Um, aside from that, we have Secret Hitler, we have other, all these other games, but, um, this one's pretty cool. Uh, so let's see here. Um... All right, so one thing I forgot to mention. So say you're doing a, um, say you're bluffing, right? Say you're bluffing, right? And you tell him, oh, you know what? I have a pair of chin strap or goatees or whatever, right? And he goes, I don't believe you. So if he doesn't believe you, you get you keep the cards and he gets the token, which I did say. But if, um, if the target is wrong and believes you, um, that believes you have a matching card, you discard both cards and you get a chip. So that's what happens. So you discard them, but otherwise um, you would give the person a chip and then you would keep the card. So there would be no loss there. So well, it actually would be that you couldn't get rid of them. Um, so that's the game in a nutshell. It's not actually too bad. Um, it's actually, it looks like it could be a pretty fun game. So I'll have to bring it to the next game night. But like I said, I don't think I went over everybody, but they do have, when you... I'll go through it in general um, here. So let's hear. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, 